Hello, children. I have heard that you've been such good little developers recently that I think you deserve a story for all of your efforts. So, the story that we'll be reading together is an old one that I'm sure your parents have read to you before. The story of the three little pigs. But, just reading the story doesn't make us happy little developers. We want to make sure that everything in the story happens exactly as we expect. So, we'll call on our good friend Aspec to help us make that happen. There will be some code to read while you're listening to the story, but don't worry, we'll take it slow. So, without further ado, let us begin. Like all good stories, ours takes place once upon a time when pigs spoke rhyme and monkeys chewed tobacco and hens took snuff to make them tough and ducks went quack quack quacko. Once upon a time, at the beginning of our story, there were three little pigs. The first little pig, the second little pig, and the third little pig. The three little pigs had a mother, and the mother pig loved her children very much. And they all lived together in a small house. It was a little cramped inside. The family of pigs were happy, but very poor. As the mother pig did not have enough to keep her children, she sent the three little pigs out into the world to seek their fortune. And so began the three little pigs' first steps into adulthood. Out on the road, the first little pig met a man carrying a big bundle of straw. He said to the man, Please, sir, give me that straw so that I may build myself a house. The man gave the first pig his straw and set off on his way. And the first little pig used all the straw the man had given him to build himself a house. I'll be warm and cosy inside, he said. The second little pig saw his brother's house and knew he had to build one too. But what material could he use? On the road, the second little pig met another man who carried with him a bundle of sticks. He said to the man, Please, sir, give me those sticks so that I may build myself a house. The man gave the second little pig his sticks and continued on his way. And the second little pig used all the sticks the man had given to him to build himself a house. I'll be safe and snug inside, he said. The third little pig, not to be outdone by his brothers, continued down the road in search of some other material. By chance, the third little pig met a man who was carting a load of bricks. He said to the man, Please, sir, give me those bricks so that I may build myself a house. And the man gave the third pig his bricks and headed back home. And the third little pig 
used every last brick the man had given to him to build himself a house. I'm not afraid of the big bad wolf, he said. The next day, a wolf came along. He saw the houses the little pigs built and decided to pay them a visit. The wolf went to the straw house and said, Little pig, little pig, let me come in. The little pig squealed, No, not by the hair of my chitty chid chin. To which the wolf replied, Then I'll huff, and I'll puff, and I'll blow your house in. And the wolf huffed, and he puffed, and blew the house down, leaving nothing but tattered straw scattered on the ground. Terrified, the first little pig ran away to seek shelter in his brother's house of sticks. So, the wolf went to the stick house and said, Little pigs, little pigs, let me come in. No, not by the hair of our chinny chin chins, replied the pigs. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. So the wolf huffed and puffed and blew the house down, leaving nothing but mangled sticks strewn across the ground. Panicked, the little pigs escaped off into their brother's house of bricks. So, the wolf went to the brick house and said, Little pigs, little pigs, let me come in. No, not by the hair of our chinny chin chins, replied the pigs. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. So, the wolf huffed and puffed and he huffed and he puffed, but he could not blow down the strong house of bricks. The wolf searched for a way into the house. He tried the door and the windows, but the pigs had closed them up. But he saw that the chimney was open and jumped onto the roof to climb down. However, the three little pigs saw what the wolf was planning. So, they hung a big pot of water on the fireplace hearth, and then made up a blazing fire. The water bubbled and popped as it came to the boil. The wolf climbed into the open chimney licking his chops at the prospect of a big dinner and prepared to slide down the chute. The wolf came down the chimney, ready to attack the pigs, but instead slid straight into the pot of water where he was promptly boiled up. And that's the end of the big bad wolf, said the pigs. Now that the story is finished, it's time to run all of our tests. Did they all pass? Let's see. Yes, 
they did all pass, and with 100% test coverage. So, both the three little pigs and the developers in our story can breathe a sigh of relief that their job was now done. And they all lived happily ever after. Today's story came from my GitHub library, whose bookshelves you too can visit if you want to read the story again yourself. We read today's story with an RSpec accent, but the story can also be read in a mini-test accent to give it a slightly different flavour. So, if that sounds like fun, please check out the book from the library. My name is Paul, and I've been your story narrator. And the beautiful original illustrations were created by Lee Shepard. And I'm sure you'll agree they gave our story a lot of life. You should absolutely go and check out more of his art at leeshepard.com. And that's the end of our story for today, everyone. Thank you for listening, and may all of your test suites stay green. <laughs>